Is that our cue? Let me see here. Got it. Okay, no, y'all look great. And we're, are we live? <laughs> we are live. <laughs> Welcome, I'm gonna turn it over to y'all. All right, welcome everybody. I'm Dr. Jen. I'm Dr. Jamie. And we're so excited to do this here today in uh, in the reference of Coca Vita, who we love. And I'm so happy to be part of the company. We are so happy to be part of the company. I'm part of the scientific board there. And they have a mission to bring nature, uh, a humanity back to nature. So we're so excited to uh, really get into the simplicity of cooking and what Jamie's done for me over the years has really taught me how to bring herbs and spices and healthy things into just about anything. I kind of always felt like, you know, that was for my like fancy meals, <laughs> <laughs> but it was kind of like, how do you make simple things taste good? So that's one of the things that uh, Dr. Jamie has, has taught me uh, through the years. So uh, what are we, what are we going to make so today? today? I just want to make everything simple. Um, we're going to bring some spices in today. We're going to make some tuna salad and there's going to be three different ways of how we can bring tuna salad and create it on a bread. We can do it like keto lettuce. Um, and we're just going to mix it with some peppers and things, but today, so today is just a simple recipe. And at the end or during, we're going to have a little cocktail. So. Which, which I'll probably start now, but <laughs> um, so also too, we want to just say whether you're Facebook Live or on Zoom or and anywhere in which you're watching us, uh, you know, comment in, Sarah's going to let us know any of the comments, we're going to look, you know, you have a wealth of information here, we've been in practice over 20 years, we've been doing things in, in mind, body, health, uh, you know, obviously, you know, spirit bringing, you know, soul connection into, through everything, including nutrition, um, and how these different things will be able to help you help your body. So ask away, even if it isn't the topic, this is for, you know, a conversation for all of us yeah. to make Sunday fun. And we're, we're like leaving spring or we're coming into spring, yeah. you know, so, you know, this kind of likeness of, uh, you know, coming out of the hibernation into just, you know, what can we do to, to feel good? And the other thing too, if you're wondering, which many of you may be, you know, we're not like really attached to any one way of eating, right? We, you don't have to be keto. You don't have to be vegan. You don't have to be any which fad diet. We're just here to, you know, what feels good for you and, and kind of diving into that intuition of knowing what feels good to you, what's going to help your body, what's going to help your mind. So this is where we're going. Um, and we're going to start with uh, diving into the tuna. So if you're cooking with us, uh, we're going to we're going to go ahead yeah. and start. So I, I normally use, I don't know if we could say brands here, but I use a particular brand. Um, it's BPA free can, which I think is very important. Yeah. I'm sorry. No. Yes. I was agreeing with that. I didn't realize I was unmuted. Sorry. <laughs> oh, <that's okay>. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, use, I don't know if I could say it. I use a wild planet. Um, it's no salt added. It's in water. I don't, I don't use the oil. Um, I like this because it is, it has not high mer mercury. Um, it's line caught. It's not uh, caught by the net. Um, it is easy to take out of the can and you really don't have to, a lot of tuna is because it's so much water down. You really have to get the water out. This is like, a, you don't really have to do that. And it's not fishy at all. I use skipjack, um, skip, skipjack or albacore. I like the skipjack because it's not fishy and you get the benefits and there's a lot more protein in it. So we're gonna open it up here. And we're gonna to talk to like anything that you're doing, like anything can, as she's going along here, I'll just like mention again about the BPA. You don't want anything with BPA in it. It's a toxin, it's a chemical. It, it basically just sits in our cans. It sits in our water. It changes our hormones uh, that like depletes into our fat. And then of course, that's where the toxicity lies, right? Within the fat. So you want to look for anything, you know, cans can be good, but you want to look for on the can that it's uh, BPA free so and anything this, you do. This is the skipjack. I mean, I barely took the water out. There's no water in there. So I dumped a little. So this is what it looked like with water, without water. And it's on my counter. So there you have it. So, I'm this so go ahead, whatever tuna you're using, just go ahead and start mixing stuff up. This really won't 
take too long, but we'll probably talk over talk. <laughs> so there's that. And then I'm going to chop up. I have a little hack here, uh, a pepper hack. I tried this morning. It's super cool. I'm also going to, while she's doing that, if you want martinis, our espresso martini, you can uh, chill it. So I like to ice water and then freezers. So it's it's ready when I, I make them as she's doing this. So she's going to mix it. I'm going to cut up some pepper. Mine is not pre-cut because I wanted to do a pepper hack for everybody. So what you do is you cut the top, not all the way off. I'll show it to you. Just a little. So you get that for the top. Then you flip it. And all you do is cut around the edges. So and I'll do that. But when you open it up, you don't have to worry about the seeds. They're already out. So it didn't really work, but <laughs> it comes out like that and it does not make a mess. So a lot of times I'll cut up the pepper and there'll be seeds everywhere. This really helps like, like clean up the mess. So that was a pepper hack. I'll try the other one. So there's that. So again, you take the top, cut a little off of the top. So it's flat. Then you again, cut where the, the uh, imprint or the edges are. Yeah, like where the crease is. Creases, so thank you. And again, when it folds open, like everything's simple. You don't have to like dig out like all the seeds. It comes right out. Those are all the seeds. So you don't have to worry about that. So there's And that. then we'll put them in the, the tuna in here. You know, so you automatically have like a little boat. That's that's one of the three. One of them. She's jumping ahead. <laughs> so there's that. So once I have that, we cut that. I'm gonna I like color. I like it. I think like when you have something more colorful, it's more appetizing and presentable to your palate and to your eyes and all your senses. So that's why I chose three different colors for pepper. I'm gonna put it in the tuna. It's optional. I like the pepper, it gives it flavor. So I'm gonna put one red, one orange and one yellow. We're gonna put this to the side. And again, I clean these before we started cutting. And I always use organic um, because of the pesticides, the herbicides, and even though this, this, the pepper is one of the top dirty, uh, 12 dozen, dirty dozen. And even though it's- Kind of like you, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> dirty dozen, sorry. I'm having so much fun, you guys. This is so much fun to watch y'all do this. So even though I bought organic, you, you still have to clean it because sometimes there's still extra wax or the pesticides. Now, when you look at a USDA, they still, they only say they are 95% pesticide chemical free. So they're still putting some 5%. So it's still good to either, um, you could put it in water with baking soda, put it in water with apple cider vinegar, and it will pull a, a lot of stuff out. So. And also too, when you go to the grocery store and you look at the, the tag on there, Make sure it has a nine on it. Correct. Right. So you want to buy the ones with the nine. That means that it's non-GMO. It's organic. It's not fake because that's the new thing now. Like they're making like fake appeal, uh, you know, appeal. appeals that look like fake um, vegetables, fruits, whatever. So you want to make sure it has the nine on it. Cheers. Um, and Cheers. <laughs> but that's very important. And then. A little bit about the tuna. As we know, tuna is a great source of protein. You're getting your vitamin vitamin D, your omega threes. It's helped your hair, skin, nails, all that great stuff. But it's also going to help lower your cholesterol, your brain, your eyes. Like so, tuna is very important uh, just to kind of get in into your body. But it's a light protein too, as well. Um, it actually helps your your insulin. So your insulin doesn't spike when your insulin doesn't spike. You 
you know, your, your, helps the your hormones and your, your chemistry can be as young and youthful. Our dog is barking. Um, perfect. So just a little bit on tuna. So on that, so I put the pepper, we're putting the pepper in. Now, I also, I put in um, white onion, like sweet white onion and, and celery. A lot of people don't like it. A lot of people are allergic to it. We like it. So I'm just going to add that in there. I'm going to add a little. I don't, I don't use a lot because it could be very strong. So I put a little in there. Put to the side, mix that. And now we're gonna add, well, this is when you put in your spoon. We're gonna add spices now to this. So we're gonna put, now when we get the most beautiful spices that we're making with Coca Vita, everything's gonna be in one. So it's gonna be evened out. So you don't have to worry about a dash of this, of this, of this, unless you wanna taste and you wanna add a little more things. Like maybe some people like a little more salt. I use Himalayan sea salt. You could use Celtic sea salt. I'm not, I do not, never use table salt. It nicks your arteries and all that. Uh, Himalayan as well as Celtic sea salt has about 87 trace minerals in it. So it's going to absorb easier into the cell and it's going to nourish everything and hydrate you because the water will follow those trace minerals into the cell. So you're getting hydrated. So even though people say, I drink about so much water, but they still feel high, dehydrated is because the water's not getting absorbed into the cell. So Jen did the pepper. She did, we did garlic powder. Uh, we did a little oregano. We did, um, she does like cinnamon. You don't have to add the cinnamon. Again, cinnamon's great for uh, blood uh, glucose. So it balances out the glucose. Um, what else? It's like a little dash of everything. Yeah, and then, dash. And then we dash mix it around and have a little taste. Yeah. Um, and then also, instead of mayo, um, because again, we're talking about spring and we want light, summer light, we like to use uh, feta instead of mayo. Feta is low in calorie. It's better for the body. The body can uh, not absorb it, but what do you call it? Digest it better. Uh, but again, if you're allergic to dairy, of course, you, you want to stay away from that. We also use vinegar and olive oil to keep it on the light side. Like a champagne vinegar. So it's a we little like bit, that. we like that, but it's like a little less um, acidy, Acidic but it, tasty. you know, but it helps bring everything together. Yeah. Um, some, I mean, we sometimes use ranch too as well, but you don't really necessarily need to. Mm -hmm. Um but you can, you can, if you're like a mayonnaise person, of course, there's different kinds, organic types, but, you know, we mix and we taste a little mix and taste, but right. with all these different herbs, um, it really, it comes to I mean, nice. the, the downside about us is I don't really measure anything yet. If you want, if you want to measure again, it's taste, you know, it's yeah. like, I don't use a lot of salt. Um, I like to use spices. Um, that have everything in it and it just dash in taste, like Jen said. Um, and then with that, we're also going to use fresh lemon. I'm going to put the fresh lemon in the tuna again to keep it, keep it light. Now I don't have a fancy, I do have a fancy opener. Thank you, Carissa, but I'm going to use old school. So it's just a regular, um, you could get this anywhere. They're like $6.99. Um, it's cool. Like when I, Juice my, my lemon water in the morning. Um, I just use this, put it in water. It helps cleanse gallbladder, liver, intestines, um, hydrate you. You drink it first thing in the morning with lukewarm water. And then 20 minutes later, you could have your coffee or whatever you desire. But this really cleanses everything, alkalines you. So I'm going to use this. We're just going to squeeze a little on there. And you could just cut it as well. You don't have to have this. This is just simplifies it. And then we'll use the juice later. I won't use all this juice. I'll, I'll use a dash and I have a top for this so we could keep it in the fridge and then add it to our water later today. Or yeah, or, you know, so I'm just gonna pour a dash of it. Mm, there you go, that's it. You don't need a lot, unless you like a lot of lemon. It's all good for you anyway. It's perfect. Mm. And I'm starting our espresso martini as I have the glasses chilled and we have the, the uh, Coca Vita coffee, which is absolutely delicious. Yeah. So I'm going to make the, the espresso martini. 
And then I'm going to mix all the stuff and I'll show you how I do that. That's what I'm doing. So I'm going to mix this right now. And then I'm probably going to add a little more, a little more olive oil, just a tad. To me, it's it's a little dry consistency. That's all I'm looking for is a consistency with the tuna. Depends on how you like it. We got that. That's you know that's what it looks like. Smells delicious. It's got that lemony, celery, so citrusy. Um, I'm probably gonna add a little more feta to it. Then I got a feta, like you could get plain feta. I got a feta that's Mediterranean. So it already has like a tomato in it that has a little spice in it. So you don't have to like mess around. It's already prepared. So you just throw it in there. It's ready to rock. So we have that. And then I'm gonna move this over here. Now, if you wanna spice it, I am not gonna spice it up, but if you want to spice it, you could use a pepper. You could use a jalapeno pepper. Again, any type of pepper, a hot thing is gonna increase your metabolism and it really cleans out everything, but <laughs> it helps your metabolism. So raw is awesome. But again, you can put it in your soup. You can put it, but it, it's delicious. Jen's not a big peppery person. So we're not going to add it today. Um, the, oh, the oregano. Yeah. And uh, mentioning about the oregano, we always add a little bit of extra oregano because that's like, we're talking about becoming your own doctor. And this is like the king of antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal. And so if you use it consistently in, in your different dishes and right. it, it won't be overbearing when you're using all the different herbs that we're telling you to, this is really gonna help your system clean, boost your immune system. I mean, all, all the great things help decrease inflammation. I mean, this is really where we're going with everything, but it's about the consistency of keeping it in, you know, your foods, your salads, right? Uh, and, and all that good stuff. Okay, so um, the tuna's made. And then we're going to have three different ways to make that. Um, the next thing is we're going to put avocado. What's that? One, two, three, four. And <laughs> so I'm going to I'm going to cut up avocados because I'm going to put this on um, on our bread, um, and then I'm also going to put it on something else that we're going to do. Yeah, one, two. Don't listen to Jen. Anyway, I. But it was really, it's really hard this time to pick up avocados. Some of them are, are hard. And of course, today we didn't want hard ones. We want a little soft because you want to cut into them. You want them to be perfect, right? So when you when you go and look at avocados, you don't have to have organic. So you could just buy the regular because it has a thicker outside skin. So not the pesticides and herbicides will not get in there. So this is not part of the uh, top 12 dozen, whatever, the dirty dozen. Um, so you absolutely could just buy these non-organic and lemons. I don't buy them organic because again, it's got the thicker skin. Um, when I do buy them, they rot so quick and you're spending a boatload more money. Yeah. So you just buy regular. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, so anyway, when you go to the grocery store, this one fell off. If you're looking for a perfect or a good avocado, if you're gonna use it right away, there's a stem at the top you pop it off and it should be like a greenish brown. That's the most perfect. Okay. This one's a little more, well, this one's greenish brown. The one I, I popped off was brown. That's too ripe. It, it's still good, but it won't last more than two days in your kitchen. So what you're going to look for is more of a brownish green, not completely green. The complete green, too green is going to be not ripe. Okay, any questions on that? No, okay, good. <laughs> so I'm about to mix this. I'm gonna put a tiny dash of cinnamon, like that's it. And then a tiny dash of lemon, like just a splash. So I have the hot espresso for two. So a double and a half espresso. I have a shot and a half of our, However you say this, Luke, Luke Scava. 
which means legacy or something or no um it means <laughs> luxurious. luxurious same thing luxurious so we use the potato vodka though because it's clean like it's a clean vodka and it's good in that as we're moving into spring having you know you can have your white vodkas or your light tequilas or what have you it's either easier on your organs your organ systems and something dark which is what would be more for like the winter time mm -hmm. um Potato, yeah. potato vodka is better for the system. You know, obviously alcohol is not great for the system, for the liver. Yet the potato vodka is so, it, it's not heavy on the liver when the liver has to detoxify everything. And that's what Dr. Jen was saying. So like any potato vodka, uh, gin, because it's white, um, a tequila white Blanco is good. Um, all those are really good for spring because when we move out of winter into spring and the summer, like our organs all shift, like how they, how they detoxify, how they function. Like in the winter time, you want to be more rooted. You want to be more grounded. So you eat more root vegetables. It's what most people like, I like chili. I like stew. That's heavy because we're in hibernation and that's what the body and the organs like. So root, root vegetables. So again, that's why we're going light for spring. So I'm going to cut up the av avocado. Again, I'm going to take the one that has a uh, greenish brown and I just use a, I don't know how anybody else does, but everything I've watched, I just use a regular butter knife. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Cha-ching. Yeah. Giddy up. That's great. Oh, that's the, now that's delicious. Anyhow. I'll put that over here. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna move this. So I'm gonna cut this, hang on a second. Yep. Then just bring it on, yep, that's gonna be on. So here we go. Yeah, this thing is really right. Okay, here we are. So we cut it open. Perfect. I use carefully, you could just tap that in there. Open it up and pull it out. See? Perfect. You know, it's weird. Some people use the, the uh, what's this? Not the, the nut. nut. No, it's not the <laughs> nut. It's the seed. Some people use a seed. They dry it out. And I've seen people like blend it. And then it's supposed to be super nutritious for you. Mm -hmm. So, but I don't have the perfect blender. So anyway, here we go. There's an the avocado. Hang on. So I'm gonna go around the outside of the half avocado. Jenny, I need a plate. Probably. Just a plate to like plate this. So what I do is I go around with a butter knife and then I slice it. One, two, as many as you want. Like you go thin, you go thick, just slice it. And then if it's ripe enough, the skin pops right off. So you don't have to fight with it and throw a spoon in there. So it comes off. Awesome. And then you put it on the plate. Now, if you're having company, you probably wouldn't be touching this. Could you put that down, please? So it's just Jen and I today. So there we have it. Just put that out like that. Can yeah, you show great. them? Yep. Yeah. So there, there's the avocado. Cut perfect, right? Awesome. All right. So we'll save the other half. We're gonna put this here. Okay, so now Jen's gonna do a little, we're gonna, we're gonna put this together, but first Jen's gonna talk about, she's gonna make a cucumber salad with um, apple cider vinegar. I know a lot of people don't like apple cider vinegar, um, but it's so good for you. Apple cider vinegar, actually a lot of people take antacids or they take pepsin AC. Um, and basically what they're doing is they're, if you will, dumbing down their digestive tract, dumbing down the stomach acid, because our stomach acid should be about 2.5. And when you take, when you take Pepsid AC or, or when you do antacids, antacid, I can't remember, um, you bring the, the acidity of alkaline and you still can't digest, you might feel okay, yet later like you're going to want more of that because the body can no longer produce its normal acids in the stomach. So apple cider vinegar does help with digestion, 
um, absorption. Um, it actually helps with weight loss and it's an anti-inflammatory throughout the whole entire body in its natural source. Now, white, white vinegar is not great. It's better for like cleaning your uh, coffee maker or cleaning your dishwasher or, or your wash machine to make sure it gets rid of all the, the not so good stuff. So what Je Dr. Jen is doing now is she cut up some cucumber. Now we kept the skin on. Um, again, we bought organic and we did clean it again. We put some apple cider vinegar on it and some baking soda soaked it to make sure like there's not like a lot of wax or residue or chemicals, pesticides on it. Uh, so we did that. And the reason why we like to use the um, skin is because it has a lot of silica. Silica helps with the hair, skin, and nails in its natural way. Um, and if you have with the apple cider vinegar, it'll help digest the cucumber as well as the skin. If you don't have a good digestive tract or stomach to break that down, people I know burp up cucumber or they burp it up the skin. It's because they're their acid in the stomach is not at where it needs to be. So you can think of it as like a pre a pre meal sometimes, like a like a a pre little thing before you meal, like how they used to do in like the Italian. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> measure, like a, a if like you, prepping the system. If you go if you go to dinner, right? Like I don't it, in it, Italy it depends, but if you go to dinner, your first meal is a salad with vinegar and olive oil. Well, the vinegar creates that let's start the system to digest and or depending like growing up Italian at the end of the meal we always ate salad at the end of the meal we never ate it during we never ate it so again it's the vinegar and everything to help digestion but yet over the years like a lot of times we can't digest lettuce because of the genetically modified, all the pesticides, the herbicides, mm -hmm. our, our, our tracks and everything get dumbed down. And I don't know if y'all know, but 70% of our immune system is in the gut. So if your gut's not functioning, you probably will have allergies. You're probably going to have the flu. You're probably going to get sick more than that. You get mm -hmm. on and on and on because yeah. your gut is Everything. So you, right. So you want to do stuff to prep it. You know, I mean, like, that's the whole point. Like people say, oh, go gluten free, go this free, go that free, go. No. And it's not that it's more the toxins and the, the, the genetically modified issues that's making your body react, not necessarily the food all the time. No. So, and, and we often obviously have to understand in our environment right now, we don't have minerals in our soil. We don't have, like, even if you're buying organic, it doesn't mean, you know, you're getting uh, GMO free, like we, we don't really know. So the only thing you actually can do is start to prep your body. Like even with the apple cider vinegar, people go, oh, it's not good for you. It might tax your liver, this and that. Well, it depends the state of your body. Right. So you do it little by little to help nourish and clean and get the toxins out of the fat. And, and again, the consistency around you know, what am I doing every day to, to help the balance right. so that my body can take in something and get rid of it. Right. It's not always about just don't eat it because that's impossible. You can't, and you can't just not. And the thing so, is, you know, the older we get, you know, well, you can't, like Jen said, you can't do this. You can't do that. Well, the thing is like, when you're five, when you're 10, when you're 15, when you're 20 and think about your boy, Sarah, they could eat anything, not gain one ounce. They're still go, go, go. They don't wake up with inflammation or pain. Mm -hmm. The body, because the body has the proper nutrition, the body, body has the minerals, the body has the water, it's hydrated, it mm -hmm. can do. Inflammation is like the hugest thing that creates dis-ease in the body, discomfort, mm -hmm. a headache, a joint pain, back pain. Well, and then you don't feel it. Like, it's yeah. like, do you feel it? It's, it's and, you might, and you might it's have silent. it going on. So we have to assume that we need to do the things anyway because our body can last up till like the 30 ish time. Right. And then we start getting symptoms and it's not because we weren't doing the bad things already. It's no. just, that's like how long the body can compensate. Yeah, it's like a car. So, it's a car. If you don't change your oil in the car, if you don't change the tires, if you don't do those specific things or put, or put gas, you, it can't function. Mm -hmm. We, our body is a vehicle and we need to run on specific gas and oil to pump through our cell, get into the cell right. and work. So, and the cucumber is good too for the hydration. I don't know if you said about yeah. hydration. Our so those really are really good. So like you're using the cucumber to hydrate your body. We think we're hydrated because we're 
drinking a lot of water. And one day we'll get into that, the proper water and what that looks like, right? But a lot of times we're not hydrated. And if our cell doesn't have the communication going back and forth into <clears throat> moving toxins out of the cell and nutrients into the cell, then it, it's like, it's, so it's worthless. <laughs> it's worthless. So it's the worthless. cucumber helps the hydration. So um, basically it's simple, cut up the cucumber, put the feta in, uh, mix through the herbs, a little cinnamon, oregano, um, the garlic, a little bit of feta, let it sit a little, mix it around. Yeah. And it's just, it's delicious. It's very good. Again, very it's good. light. It's refreshing, not too heavy. Um, again, you don't have to use feta and a lot of people too, like dill. Dill's really good. If you want to use something fresh, you can do basil. You could do dill. Um, even mint, mint sounds odd, but mint is great for digestion. And cilantro. Oh, we're going to put cilantro. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. We're going to put cilantro. Cilantro is awesome. Uh, popping. Cilantro, again, is one of those things like we're taking in heavy metals every single day, no matter how conscious you think you are, no matter how clean eater, it's in our air, it's in our water. Everywhere. It's in, I mean, our pots and pans, we have to go over that one day, proper pots and pans, so you're not taking in the metal. Um, of course, in different kinds of fish, if you don't do the uh, actual kind of you know, uh, fish without the BPA and all that, you're taking in the heavy metals again and again and again. So the, the cilantro is going to help you pull those heavy metals out of the body, clean your cell. This is why people maintain extra weight on their body because of those things, the BPA, the heavy metals, all these things. Um, so we're using these herbs in different realms to help start pulling that stuff out, get good communication between the cells. Uh, you know, so there's a purpose for every single thing that we're, that we're bringing forward so that you kind of know the, the, the simple things that you can use to help these. And then again, it's the consistency, the consistency of uh, utilizing the hydration, pulling out the metals, BPA free, the good feta, the low fat, easily digestible, the good source of protein, um, lowering your insulin levels, all of those things. I mean, um, right. The, the beautiful thing is like, that's the stuff you can do at home. Like, you know, like we are practitioners. Um, we do have different ways to detox in our office to help people. Yet this is the way you can help detox yourself at home. Like, I don't want to say detox, but so you don't, um, you can help yourself know that you're not putting in impurities, more impurities in the body. Because we're like Jen said, we're bombarded every single day everything around us, anything we breathe in today. So, and the herbs are powerful. So if you're doing it consistently, it's going to help counterbalance what our bodies are being indoctrinated by every, every single every day. day. Uh, so here we go. Okay. So this is what, so now we're going to go back to the tuna since the cucumber is already made. I'm going to do three different ways. Now I mentioned um, to Sarah that we were going to use a cauliflower sandwich then I'm not going to use it today. You can use this and you can buy this at any supermarket that you have. Um, it is called outer aisle cauliflower sandwich thins. You stick them in the oven, you toast them and you can use them with anything. But I was going to use this because they're low in calorie. Um, I think they're high in potassium. I don't know my reading. Yeah, they got, they've got potassium, but they're also like really low in just the whole carb thing. I mean, I know like yeah. sometimes I get hate getting stuck in the story of no carb, low carb, whatever. But um, cauliflower. the cauliflower is good. I mean, then you get that aspect of the vegetable in, but then it won't spike your insulin. Like, you know, every any way that you can look at chemistry, it's anytime you put anything in your mouth, you're spiking your insulin. Everything. So when you Everything. spike your insulin, your, your, your hormones and your inflammation don't function as they should, or we get more inflamed in the body. Um, so that's why we want to go like a little bit lower carb. So this is an option. So I'm going to toast one of these. If you could put, okay. so what we're going to do is I, we have sourdough bread. You could use any bread. We like this sourdough because it's low glycemic. It is gluten-free naturally how they cook it. Um, they take out a couple different things. So Jen's going to apply the avocado, like a couple right here. It's already cut. You just put the avocado here. I'm going to toast this and I'm going to, once it comes out, I'm going to smash, have like an avocado toast. And then I'm going to put the tuna on it. This is going to be just more just in its natural form. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I love sourdough bread is, is the best. And it, it is digestion. one of your most naturally clean 
breads you can have. I mean, who doesn't want bread with something? I know, like, I don't want to eliminate it altogether, but it's a good way to, to kind of balance that out. So this is going to be, here's the avocado first. On that, and it's not toasted. Jen's going to put a little of the tuna that we made. Nice and colorful. It's delicious. It smells, I wish y'all could smell what we're smelling. <laughs> Ooh, that smell. It's awesome. I would use a spoon, Jennifer. Okay, Tony. I got called Jennifer. Use the spoon, Jennifer. Sure. <laughs> Put that on here, right? Let's create this. There we have it. And then on this one, I'm going to do. If you get, if you can give me the cucumber. So on this one, um, you can do a couple of things. I'm going to do something schmancy. I think she's going to get fancy on y'all. I'm going to get fancy. So I I practice. So I kind of look good. So <laughs> you take a peeler and you're just going to peel just a little, maybe about that much. So it's very thin. Okay. I mean, these would be cool too. Like you can, if you like sushi, you could probably create like a sushi roll with this stuff. Right. So here you have it again, it's hydration. And then what I do is curl it a little, just make it a curl. Looks kind of neat, right? Curl it. And then you put it on top. And there you have it. So if you have guests and you want to make a small crostini, you can make it look a little pretty. Yeah, yeah. And then what I would probably do to make it a little nice, as, as well as for myself, you know, I'm like, I'm, I'm hungry, but I want to make it look good for myself. I throw a little paprika on it. Dash it. There you have it. So it gives it a little kick. So the color, I don't know if you could really see it. Mm -hmm. So that's the presentation. I'm a big presentation person. Now, the next thing is we're now, now if you don't want bread, we're gonna put it in a little uh, pepper that we created like a boat, right? So again, we're gonna scoop this. Now, if you're using pepper and you already, and if you don't, if it's too much pepper, you do not have to put the pepper in the tuna. We're a pepper fan. Not a Dr. Pepper, but a pepper pepper. I could still be a pepper. Drink Dr. Pepper, no. So there that is. And then on this one, I'm gonna cut up the avocado a little smaller. Actually, you know what? If you got sprouts, I love sprouts. These are sunflower sprouts. They're so, no. oh my God, manja, manja, manja. I eat these like no tomorrow. And my dog loves these and they're so good for you. Yeah. There's so, so much chlorophyll, so much sunlight. They bring light into your body. Oh my gosh. Give yourself some light from the chaos. Yeah, so I learned about these, a couple of our friends, they went to Hippocrates down in Florida and I wasn't, I did, had no clue really about sprouts and they came back and they were like, sprouts is everything. You got to put sprouts in your salad, sprouts in your shake, sprout, because of the chlorophyll from the sun uh, that create, and they're small. So it, it's, it has every, the minerals and everything versus like a piece of lettuce. Like it's still good. But this has every nutrient and energy. Like the frequency of a sprout is incredible. So I put sprout on that just to, again, let's make it like, like <laughs> colorful and tasty and beautiful. And if you want, I mean, you could even add sriracha on that if you like hot stuff. You could, to make it like a different color. Um, or dude, I, I love this stuff. This is like fig, fig glaze. It's so yum. Uh, just to give it a little sweetness, it's not a lot of sugar, so it's not gonna really completely increase. And you just put a little dash on that. Just there you go. And there you have a little color. So you have people over and make it small. There you go. So there's two. Okay, the third one, we're gonna take out of the oven. So we're gonna smash now. We're gonna take this, use a different fork. You wanna do this, Jenny? No, nope, good. So we're just gonna smash the avocado. So this is like avocado toast that you would get anywhere now, right? To give it, so, you know, if you wanna eat tuna in the morning or, or an egg or whatever, but this is great, it's so refreshing. You just smash that on there. We're gonna throw some pepper on that. <laughs> 
Beautiful. And then we're just gonna throw the tuna on that. Again, some tuna, some blessing on that. There you have it. And the cucumber on there. Okay. And then and then the cucumber we made, if you want a little salad thing on there, you just make it pretty. Let's see. There you have it. That's pretty, Jamie. Thanks, Jenny. There you have it. And there you have breakfast, lunch, or dinner, yo. Perfect. So here's three different three different ways you can manja. I'm trying to think again. So the cauliflower, um, red pepper. Oh, okay. This was my surprise. Okay, this is super cool. We can put this aside. Um, I that our for some reason our grocery store ran out of big romaine lettuce. So I'm going to use the small ones. So just roll with me on this one, okay? They're tiny. So what I'm gonna do is try to overlap, try. I am going to overwrap them. I'm not gonna try, I am going to do it. We're gonna roll this in. So we're gonna make a tuna lettuce wrap. Delicious, right? I'm gonna put the tuna in first. Now you could put, like, if you do want ranch dressing, if you do want a little mayo, but we're, again, we're going light today. So we're gonna throw this in here. And you can do lettuce wraps with anything. Oh my gosh, right? Like chicken, um, vegetable, roasted vegetables, anything. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna throw my avocado in here. And then I'm gonna throw my sprouts. Sprouts, sprouts. Sprout. And then we're gonna roll this girl if we can. Let's see if she wants to play. All right, here we go. Roll out. Then we're gonna roll it. We're gonna roll it. We had a if again, if I had a bigger one, a it's gonna be a roll, right? And then if we had a toothpick, you'd stick it in there. I would cut this and it'd be like a sushi roll. You know? So I don't think we have one, do we? Toothpick, no. You don't have a toothpick. Yeah. So there you have it. So there's th four different ways you could have your tuna. Yummy. Anything else do we have? So I'm gonna put that yeah. there. I'll put that plate up. Sorry about the presentation. Here we go. So different ways. We've got the tuna wrap. We got the tuna on the sour with the avocado, with the fresh cucumber on top that unfolded. We have the pepper boat tuna with some sprouts and a little demi glaze, right? Is that what it's called? Yep. Yeah, Italian fig glaze. And then the other one is a toasted avocado toast with the tuna with the cucumber salad that Dr. Jen made. Um, which one do we find this at the store? Take a picture of that so we can post that later. So beautiful. It's the best tuna salad I have ever had. We just ate it while we were watching. Yeah, I was chilling down with my food on the ceiling still because I was eating so fresh. All right. So good. It's amazing, y'all. You have to make it. Mm -hmm. it's, so good. it's very refreshing it's so light it's refreshing and like i said like i mean i, I could eat i could eat tuna like breakfast lunch or dinner but on the go um if you have a couple people over like you can make those crustinis you can make it smaller mm -hmm. um the it, like i said oh. if you have bigger romaine lettuce absolutely use a roll and then cut it and like present it like sushi and maybe like have like a I don't know, a little dip in the middle if you like dip. You don't have to have that. I mean, these are just different options. Um, yeah, but I'll definitely take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Love it. We have some people watching on Facebook. Um, we have some comments here. Um, everybody's saying it looks fantastic. I know, like I said, Dustin was making it as Dr. Jen, Dr. Jamie were uh -huh. cooking. Oh, yeah. So I was like muted myself when we were eating. It was so good. Awesome. Um, Very good. Yeah, was, this is amazing. Good job, you guys. Thank you. Cool. Uh -huh. Very any good. Questions or anything? So, yeah, anybody have any questions about it, about anything we talked on or? Yeah. So I did have a question. I had never seen those the the cauliflower hmm. Where, what section of the grocery store do you find those in they're in the frozen section um i bought mine 
I bought, well, so we have a local, we have Wegmans, but you could buy, if you have a Whole Foods, I think you can buy it anywhere actually, but it's called the outer aisle. It, they're frozen. So okay. you're probably in a gluten-free type freezer section. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, but that people I've seen online, people like make pizza out of these. You could put oh. tuna on, oh yeah. You know, if you have good sauce and you don't have to make pizza, but you could have a pesto pizza. You could have, you know, but it's yummy and it's, you know, yeah, it's nine pairing. grams of protein on top of that. Yeah. You know, right. That's incredible. I love so all cool. the health tips while you're all cooking. This is so amazing. <laughs> when are we going to have our next show? Is it going to be next week? Or are we going to do it in two weeks? Dr. Jen, Dr. Jamie, just so yeah. our audience knows. Well, next week is Dr. Jen's birthday. <laughs> so, okay. So two weeks from today, because the doctor <laughs> is two weeks from today. <laughs> two weeks from today. Um, do you know what you're going to be cooking? Um, no, but if anybody wants to put no, anything in the don't. comments, like oh, someone oh, can maybe uh, we'll take the next 48 hours and get requests. How about yeah, that? And, and please no souffle because I have no clue. <laughs> or they can do a souffle. No souffle. No souffle. Oh, okay. So <laughs> next time the doctors cook, we're going to have a little surprise for you guys. Um, this has been amazing. I can see this is going to be one of the top shows, you guys, uh, for Cocoa Vida, one of the top calls. <laughs> you guys are natural. This is Living the Cocoa Vida. <laughs> there you go. She's going to make up her own song. So if you guys have any questions at all, I know we, we can drop the recipe in the comments below. So you guys can, if you didn't catch everything, you can follow it, make it later. Um, and so we're just going to make a little section of all the doctor's recipes. Maybe we could send it out in an email. That's so perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you for this, Dr. Jen and Dr. Jamie. This You're is so awesome. awesome. You're Good so time, awesome. Guys. Thank you. I hope everybody enjoys their lunch today. Yeah. Yeah. Or let us know if you, if you make it later, how you like it or um, any like maybe things that you did different. And uh, we will, we will make sure to, uh, I don't know, reply and, and try <laughs> for ourselves, you know. As, as yeah. Italian says, salute, chin chin. Salute. Cheers. There you go, salute. I love it. Dr. Jamie, that's what I said. You're Italian. You don't need recipes. Like, I know how this goes. Right. I'm Italian too. <laughs> okay. All we do is watch our great grandma, grandma, mom in the kitchen, and we're good. It's all in our head, huh? That's <laughs> exactly. It. That's it. <laughs> uh, you're amazing love and appreciate you both you guys tune in two weeks from today we will be doing this again and be on the lookout for your email or social media um to see what the doctors will be cooking so thank you all love you guys appreciate y'all and see you in a couple weeks thank <laughs> you guys. for joining happy sunday bye. Bye -bye. happy sunday sunday <laughs> okay, guys. bye